And also today marks five years since two women were found dead under mysterious circumstances in East Lumberton. A third woman was found dead in the same area less than two months later, and tonight the case remains unsolved. News 13's Jack Billu spoke to one of the victim's mothers about the case. Sheila Price says her daughter, Rhonda Jones, was found naked, upside down in a dumpster with fractures on her face and neck. She says the last five years have felt like she's been living in a nightmare that she can't wake up from. There's a small memorial in East Lumberton near the spot Rhonda Jones' body was found. Just up the road, authorities found Christina Bennett's body, and a few blocks over, they found Megan Oxendine's. Sheila Price says she finds herself thinking of that day five years ago all the time. And that's where I'm still at today because I don't know who killed my daughter. She says she still can't believe the deaths of her daughter and the two other women aren't considered murders. Do um, they think my daughter just decided to strip naked, crawl up in a filthy trash can to die? She recalls a meeting with authorities shortly after the bodies were found. He said out of all three girls, Rhonda Jones went down fighting for her life. Now, how can they not call that homicide? She says the way this case was handled has shaken her faith in the authorities, citing the fact that the rape and DNA kits of the three women went untested until more than a year and a half after they were collected. When you have a triple, and I'm going to call it what it is, murder case, and you let DNA and rape kits sit on a shelf for almost two years, you hadn't planned on trying to solve them. She says in spite of it all, she won't stop looking for answers. I've been told it, if I'd put Rhonda Zern in a closet or somewhere, it probably wouldn't hurt as bad. Every time I look at it, I, I know I'm not stopping. I'll never stop until I get justice for my young. I reached out to the FBI for this story, but they declined my interview request. The Lumberton Police Department also declined to interview. Captain Vernon Johnson of the department's investigative division says he and his team are still following up on leads in the case, though they've slowed over the last five years. He told me the FBI plans to release a podcast about the case that was supposed to come out today, but it's since been delayed. In Lumberton, Jack Billiou, News 13.